We honor every soldier, sailor, airman, marine, and coast guardsman who gave some of the best years of their lives to the service of the United States and stood ready to give life itself on our behalf. At Gettysburg, Lincoln noticed that there is little we can do to honor the peacemakers and the defenders of liberty, alive or fallen, that they haven't already accomplished for themselves. And rather, he said, it is for us here to be dedicated to the great task remaining before us, and from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, and that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. These are the champions who helped free a continent. And these are the heroes who helped end a war. Strengthened by their courage, heartened by their value, and borne by their memory, let us continue to stand for the ideals for which they lived and died. It was more than a half century ago, and in another nearly 50 years, at another anniversary, there will be no one left who heard those voices. It is the spirit of our soldiers and sailors and airmen and marines carried it to victory and sometimes carried into eternity. We owe them a debt. We repay it with a pledge. Preserve their memory against the tide of time. And since I've returned to private life, I've been reminded time and time again of what we accomplished together in the Gulf with the liberation of Kuwait, uh, when we stood for principle, and when we as a nation did the right thing. We heard the voices of friends, voices that still haunt and comfort the memory of veterans, voices of confidence and voices of fear, voices that ended in a moment, in a place far from home. I can hear them as if it were yesterday, frozen in time by the intensity of the experience we shared forever bold, forever determined, and forever young. These are the hidden heroes of a peaceful nation. Our colleagues and friends, neighbors and family members, who answered the call and returned to live in the land they defended. Our whole nation honors every patriot who placed duty and country before their own lives, and all who've worn that uniform have won the thanks of the American people.